Logitech sent over this K780 multi-device wireless keyboard. Now this isn't necessarily normally my kind of up my alley type stuff, I'm normally sort of gaming peripherals, but it's actually quite awesome and especially if you have lots of PCs or you know mobile devices, this is quite cool. Now the back of the box that features all of the new uh, the sort of the specs and that sort of thing, but the main ones I want to point out are the 24 month battery life, obviously the wireless encryption which is quite cool, 10 meter range and the dual connectivity of the uh, wireless extender as well as Bluetooth. Now it's a full size keyboard, includes a number pad and actually is kind of a chiclet style design but with uh, rounded keycaps it's quite interesting. On the back you get two AA, uh, AAA batteries as well as a uh, USB receiver, it's the unifier receiver so you can use multiple devices with it and uh, it also has a sort of bridge on the top so that you can push your device into it. It's quite nice to type on especially if you're you know used to Apple keyboard type thing and being able to type on your phone is actually quite weird um, which is something that I'm not necessarily used to but still very awesome. Uh, by the way the power switch is on the right hand side if you, uh, you know, need to turn it on and you do also have a power LED. Now, the main thing for me is that this is a really nice keyboard obviously for a multi-device thing so if you're say sitting as you do in your partner's dressing gown uh, in the you know in your living room with your HCPC but you also want to type on your phone you can have your phone just resting in the keyboard while the keyboard's in your lap typing on your PC pressing one button and then uh, typing on your phone so yeah it's quite a, an interesting experience. So the K780 is actually a really nice keyboard. In terms of typing experience, it's very easy to do, especially on the you know, sort of strange like lap angle type thing. Um, so having it on your lap is quite easy to type on, but obviously on a desk is very easy as well. The main use case for me, I can see it as being a fantastic office keyboard for someone, you know, for a sort of employee who has a desktop PC or even a laptop on a dock. Uh, as well as you know their phone or tablet or something and you can be typing away on your spreadsheets or emails uh, on your desktop or you know laptop type thing uh, and then uh, you quickly switch over to your phone to RSVP to a, an, an email or something so um, it's uh, it's really nice for that sort of application I could see it being a fantastic office keyboard although at the price it does seem quite expensive uh, for you know the options you get you know for uh, having the, the trouble of actually having to pick up your phone and type on it type thing um, in comparison it does seem a little strange um, and as for a home user I can see it as being a nice HTPC type uh, you know device uh, keyboard um, especially if you have an HTPC and maybe like a, a server in your cupboard or something um, and then you obviously you want to use your phone or your tablet or something as well so it's a, an, a nice option for that although I wouldn't necessarily expect too many people to choose that as the reason to pick this up and um, it's actually as I said a really nice typing experience the battery life is obviously very long and having two AA batteries means that you can just pull those out and shove a couple new ones in very easily so that's awesome um, the multi-user or the uh, the USB stick uh, USB sort of uh, dongle that comes with it is obviously you know, tiny fits in the keyboard so it travels quite well and the fact that it's a it's Logitech's kind of universal connector means that I believe you can use other Logitech uh, products like a Logitech wireless mouse with it as well so that's really awesome as well and uh, yeah it's it's basically a slightly high priced at least from what I can see anyway uh, multi-user keyboard that types well, feels good, fits your phone or your tablet in it, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, it's just it's a, a really nice functional keyboard. Um, with just I'm not entirely sure where it sits in the market, obviously because I'm used to sort of gaming keyboards and stuff. Uh, at the price that it's currently at, you can pick up a relatively cheap uh, sort of low-end mechanical keyboard. So uh, you know this is obviously not for gaming. It's just to give you a rough price comparison. And if you want to pick it up, I'll try and leave a link to Amazon in the description down below if you want to help me out and uh, pick that up there. But uh, yeah, in terms of scoring, I'm going to go for a four for value for money. I think in terms of performance, like typing performance, I'm going to go for a 4.5 with 5 for functionality. Um, style has to be a 5, it looks awesome. And Titan BB score, I think I'm going to go for a 4.5. It's a really nice keyboard, it feels nice to type on. Um, obviously not as, you know, kind of great as mechanical keyboards, especially Cherry Mix Browns or Blues personally. Obviously that's very much personal preference with this sort of chiclet style. Um, but I'm going to still give it a gold award because uh, it's a really nice keyboard. Obviously having functionality for uh, multiple devices and for that seamless as well like you, you literally hit the button and then you're instantly typing on the other device like it's very very fast so that's awesome um, 
But uh, yeah, that's that, that's that. Um, obviously, if you do want to pick one up, as I said, I'll leave a link to Amazon down below where you can check it out. And uh, yeah, if you're buying anything else, it'd be awesome. You could use my Amazon affiliate link too. It genuinely does help me out. Um, if you want to, uh, if you enjoyed the video, sorry, yeah, then feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. If you didn't, feel free to dislike and let me know why in the comments down below so that I can improve for next time. But if you did enjoy it, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. It's always nice to hear your, uh, you know, support and, and love. And uh, yeah, I guess that's that. Check out some of the videos um, too. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.